Water, one of the most valuable resources on Earth. For Afghanistan, a country where only 35% of the population has reliable access to clean water, controlling water sources is not just a necessity, it's a matter of survival. The Amu Darya River, flowing over 2,400 kilometers, has long been a vital lifeline for Afghanistan, Uzbekistan, and Turkmenistan. Now, a bold project, the Kosh Tepa Canal, aims to redirect part of this water to transform Afghanistan's deserts into fertile land. But will this ambitious project bring prosperity, or will it trigger a regional crisis? Let's uncover the reality behind one of Afghanistan's most controversial undertakings. The Kosh Tepa Canal is more than just an irrigation project. It's a bold economic gamble. Afghanistan's economy heavily relies on agriculture, yet only 12% of its land is currently arable. With this canal, the government aims to expand agricultural production by 550,000 hectares, an increase of over 40%. This could turn Afghanistan into a regional agricultural powerhouse, reducing dependency on imports and boosting food security. But there's a catch. The canal diverts water from the Amu Darya River, which supplies water not only to Afghanistan, but also to Uzbekistan and Turkmenistan. This raises serious concerns about the equitable distribution of water resources and potential regional tensions. To put this in perspective, Afghanistan's agricultural imports currently make up about 35% of the country's total agricultural demand. By increasing local production, the government hopes to reduce this figure by a significant margin. However, the success of the canal is far from guaranteed. The project's cost has already exceeded $4 billion, and completion is not expected until 2027. Will it be worth the investment? What's more, the project will also create new jobs. It is estimated that over 25,000 jobs will be created during the construction phase alone. When completed, the canal is expected to provide up to 50,000 permanent jobs in agriculture, irrigation management, and related sectors. The canal's impact on local economies could be transformative, with new markets opening up for agricultural exports and an increase in food supply for the local population. But as with any large-scale infrastructure project, there are risks. The project could face environmental setbacks, such as soil salinity and changes in local ecosystems. The canal's long-term success depends on the proper management of these risks. Afghanistan's water resources are limited, but incredibly valuable. The Amu Darya River, one of the longest rivers in Central Asia, flows from the mountains of Tajikistan through Afghanistan and into Turkmenistan. This river is crucial for agriculture and provides water to millions of people in the region. However, Afghanistan faces challenges in accessing this resource. Currently, the Amu Darya contributes about 35% of Afghanistan's annual water supply, while the remaining 65% is allocated to neighbouring countries. Turkmenistan uses 50% of the river's water and Uzbekistan receives 15%. Despite this, Afghanistan is positioned strategically to benefit from its own share of the river's resources, and the Kosh Tepa Canal project aims to tap into this potential. If successful, this canal could potentially provide water to over 500,000 hectares of desert land, turning it into fertile agricultural zones, enhancing both Afghanistan's water security and its agricultural output. Building the Kosh Tepa Canal requires massive investment in both machinery and human resources. Over 20,000 workers are expected to be involved in the project, including engineers, laborers, and specialists. The canal's construction will rely on more than 500 pieces of heavy machinery, including excavators, bulldozers, and dredges. These machines will work in harsh conditions, helping to excavate and divert water across the region. The project is expected to take about five to seven years to complete, with the first phase focusing on channel excavation and water diversion. Afghanistan shares the Amu Darya River with Tajikistan, Turkmenistan and Uzbekistan, all of which have a stake in the water resources. As Afghanistan builds the canal, it risks upsetting delicate water-sharing agreements that have existed for decades. Political negotiations will be key to ensuring the project doesn't fuel conflict or worsen relations between these neighbouring countries. The Kosh Tepa Canal is more than just an infrastructure project. 
It's a symbol of Afghanistan's future as it seeks to transform arid lands into productive agricultural hubs. However, with great potential comes great responsibility. Balancing the benefits with the environmental and political challenges will be key. As the project progresses, it's crucial to continue learning from the impacts, both positive and negative, to ensure a sustainable and prosperous future for Afghanistan and the surrounding region. Like, subscribe and comment below. Don't forget to check out the suggested videos for more exciting content.